Hey guys, so I'm here on a rainy day in Florida and it, um, I got a prophecy last night which was 1 13 24. Um, I don't know what time it started, but it ended around 11 30 at night. Um, it's called I Provide. Whatever they needed, I supplied. I am the God of the Israelites in the desert for 40 years. I am the God of Christians in persecution. I provide for my own in ways man cannot see. But those who are receiving the gifts, they know. I provide rest when no sleep exists. I provide protection when risks abound. I provide food when provisions are scarce. I provide friendships when loneliness abounds. I work in unlikely ways with unlikely people. Never fear, for I am your God. The times to soon come will demand true faith. Many will be stretched past their capacity and challenged to believe in me with full faith. I will not let these down with faith. Those swayed by the wind, those unstable in storms, those that try to survive in their own power will fail and fail until they reach the end of themselves and cry out for help. Those who choose faith from the start will have no lack. Their continued thankfulness and continued prayers will be answered. I have many angels watching over them. They will be protected and provided for. Have faith. Behind the veil, the fight is fierce. Some can feel this. They dance with the Holy Spirit and they are one with me. There is a tension that can be felt when the spiritual fight is strong around you. It can be felt. As more demons arrive in waves and more of my people pray, the fight rages and you stand firm. Do not fall to temptation. Lay your burdens at my feet and let me handle them. Pray hard and with all earnestness. Pray for others. Many are not praying. They have lost hope because of man's dates that pass. They are giving up. Those of you with strength, pray harder. Pray more, are renewed, and get back into the fight and pray. The times to soon come will take completely leaning on me. Trust me, I have this. My plans are higher than your plans. My ways are higher than your ways. Trust me. Do not look around in bewilderment like the pagans. Find your hope in me. Do not cling to the past as the world will quickly change. Nothing to return. Prepare your hearts and minds for change and for unthinkable difficulties. Through me, you can be fully provided for, but through your power, you will be dismayed. Fill up with scripture, fill up with worship, store up the words in your heart, for you will need them. Be my beacons of hope, be boldly joyful and confident in the chaos. Rest in me, for I will give peace. You will share my peace and joy with others who are bewildered and dismayed. Choose now to stand in the gap and share me, my love, my grace, my son to those that need me. You will lead them. I will lead you. You will be protected and provided for if you lead others. My harvest workers will always be protected no matter how it looks. Hard times approach quickly. Be of good courage. Cling to me and find resilience, restoration, peace, and joy. I am the Lord your God. Those that obey these words will be found worthy. Keep your eyes up to me in prayer and with hope. Keep your heart humble and pure before me. Pray in earnest for your protection and for those that need me. Bring in the first harvest. The harvest will soon be ready for picking. Bring me your willingness and faith, and I will provide all you need to succeed. I am the Lord God Almighty. I love you, and I am calling you to service. Stand and report. 
And then some of you might be nervous, like I'm not a leader, I'm a behind the scenes person. And for, oh gosh, I guess about two months now, I've been working on this leadership series that's gonna be coming out soon. It's almost done. Every time I think I'm done, God's like, oh, add this. <laughs> so when it's done, it's done. I, I'm not in control of that. But pretty soon it'll be done and then it'll be like an everyday kind of a thing. So um, that's coming out soon. So hang on and see you soon.